Hi there folks, David Newman here from davidnewman.com. Welcome to Business Card Kung Fu. What I have here, 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 is a stack of business cards. Just got back from the NSA convention in Phoenix, Arizona. These are, for the most part, speaker, coach, consultant, trainer, expert, author business cards. And because as a marketing guru and marketing coach, consultant, I get a lot of questions about business cards, what should be on the business card, what should not be on the business card, do's and don'ts of business cards, what makes a good business card. I thought we'd spend a few minutes going through exactly what should be on your business card and how the whole business card thing works. So let's talk about Ryan Rigsby. Can you see that? That is Ryan Rigsby's business card. I was talking to Ryan and one of the things that I'm a big believer in is business card kung fu. So if you can see this, I'm going to put my my hands on the card like this and then start doing a kung fu move. Whoa, whoa, whoa. See what's happening? The back of the business card is Ryan's resume at a glance. So you want to have your business card do double duty. All right. A lot of people say, should I use the back of my business card? My answer to that is only if you don't want to waste 50% of your real estate. All right, very quickly, moving on, Jan Carruthers. Woo, Jan Carruthers, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can you see that? All right, what Jan Carruthers has done is when you must, and we're putting some pain bullets and some specific prospect language in here, when you must make winning speeches and presentations, when you must energize, influence, and inspire others. You, 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 you. Jan Carruthers understands the power of you. How much is on your business card about you and how much is on your business card about them? So make it about them. You know, there's Jan's picture, but I'm sorry, there's, whoo, there we go. There's Jan's picture, but there's all about you and why you want to hire her. All right. My friend Jill Cody, win the weight war. Wah, 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 wah. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, Jill Cody has decided contact information. On the back of the card, picture of the book on the front of the card. Is that great? I don't know. Could she put some more powerful marketing language on the back of the card other than her name and address and contact details? Probably. All right, Nita Scoggins. Nita, Nita. Nita. All right, ready? Watch this. Whoa! Oh, no! Business card kung fu. That's a knockout. Nothing on the back of the card. Nita, I love you. You got a lot going on for you, and you guys probably can't see this. Nita's got fringlies. This is homemade, folks. It looks great. Nice layout. Homemade. Get serious, Nita. Get serious or get some help. My man Scott Hunter, Scott Hunter, certified speaking professional. There he is. Wha, hey, wha, wha, wha. What's on the back? Scott Hunter, his book. Great use for the back of business card. Unshackled leadership, getting businesses unstuck. Value proposition for the book. The man that wrote the book. Think about that. Uh, my friend Sharon Black, there she is. Wha, 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 hey, hey, wha. Again, business card kung fu. That's upside down. I apologize. Here we go. Right? Telecommunications law in the internet age. Another great book. Book author. Book author. Business card kung fu. All right. Here's a great idea. Sonia Aranza. Sonia Aranza is a Filipina powerhouse. She is a speaker, coach, consultant, and guess what? Genius use of the back of the business card. Hey, here are my clients. Wouldn't you like to see your name on the back of Sonia Aranza's business card? Of course you would. Of course you would. Lauren Sonia, marketing genius. Wah, 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 wah. Okay. She actually has two cards. This is her card. And then over here I've got the card for her book. Uh, or I don't. <laughs> my, that's embarrassing. Okay, well, anyway, her personal card, let's get back into the real deal. Personal card, big picture, contact details here, value proposition on the back, teaching you how to stand out, stir the pot, and put marketing into action. Bam! Wah, 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 wah! All right. My friend Avish Parashar, motivational smartass, motivationalsmartass.com. People who like a little sarcasm with their self-help, let's see how he does. Wah! Ooh, 
look at that. Very interesting. Back of the card here has some learning points. Learning points. As a speaker, Avish will boom, 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 boom. And to book Avish and for information, video clips, free downloads, and a very funny blog, visit MotivationalSmartAss.com. Kim Snyder, Financial Genius. Whoa! Oh, no! Nothing on the back of Kim Snyder's card. Kim Snyder. Kim Snyder, get with the program. Or call me for marketing help. Either way, Greg Williams, the negotiations man. Look at that. Greg Williams managed to figure out how to put a small picture of himself on the front of the card and a big picture of himself on the back of the card. Look at that. But right there, see that? Discover. Um, discover. Gain. Sorry, I'm trying to show you this. Earn. Become. He's got his power bullets on the back of the card. Very smart. Jill Cody, Transforming Perspectives. Wah, 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 wah. Again, good use of the back of the card. There are some benefits. Realize, win, stress less, influential communications, all that stuff. Gideon Grunfeld, Lawyer on a Leash. Fun graphic. Value prop right there. How to hire, work with, and control your lawyer. Wah! And what's on the back? His contact details. But again, two-sided. Gideon wins a black belt in business card kung fu. Dolly, look at the graphic design on this thing. Dolly Marting, who is just a fabulous, wonderful human being. Met her at the convention. Wah, 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 wah. Here's what she's doing. What you cannot change, rearrange. And she's quoting herself. Very smart move. Never quote other people on your business card. That's just lame. Now, my friend Lori Brown, last and certainly not least, sales, service, and presentation skills training. Contact details. Get ready. Wah, 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 wah. Big value proposition. Beautiful design. Look at that. Give them a reason to listen to you. The difference. Bam. Bam. That's what I'm talking about. Your business card should say two things to prospects. Number one, I rock. Number two, bam. I can help you. I can fix your problem. I feel your pain. I know what you're going through. Here's my card. Give me a call. Let's talk. That's what it should say. That's what yours will say. Thanks for watching.